So as we know, we have recently hit 300,000 pre-registrations, which is pretty good. I'd say we want to hit 500,000 to get a decent amount of rewards. Of course, it's not that much when comparative to other games, but one multi and 300 gems with of Mimosa, which is actually very good for us early game, is not bad, right? 300,000 was hit in about a month and 10 days is from what I remember, like about 40 days. So we were getting about like 100,000 per day, uh, per 10 days, or about like per 13 days, every two weeks. We'll say every two weeks we've gotten 100,000 pre-registrations about. Now, we're just going to compare this. Now, of course, Nikkei got 3 million on their launch. Now, Nikkei is a pretty big game and has big features to it. Um, I'm not going to click on the Twitter, but I'm going to guess as... I'm going to see you guys know what I mean by that anyway. Now, 3 million to 300,000. 3 million, 300,000. <laughs> you know, it's quite... There's quite a disparity between the two. And I feel like there's some reasons to that, which I'm going to get into. But I did make a tweet on this, and I think that m my thoughts are pretty um, concrete on this topic. Now, even if you go to Honkai, of course, Honkai Star Rail is a uh, MiHoYo game. So that already gives it a lot of following, especially after Genshin was solidified. Genshin got around 10 million pre-registrations, but 8 million pre-registrations is huge. When you compare or realize that Star Rail is very similar to uh, Black Clover Mobile in the way that is both turn-based, 3D, high quality, right? Now... Star Rail obviously was going to get a lot of pre-registrations no matter what, especially when their character designs were original and unique. Now, the problem is, why is it so low? Now, I'm just going to bring you over here to kind of a reference to give you an idea as to why. This is 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross. It is a very big gacha game, I would say. Very high quality, but not... <laughs> Not really good as of recently, but it is definitely uh, has been a big inspiration for Black Clover Mobile as the developer came from Grand Cross. And they play very similarly and have many similar styles. Now, Grand Cross, the JP version, got 500,000 pre-registrations. And this was four years ago in 2019, in June, as the game released in June. But this got in total 500,000 plus, I believe, a bit extra. I do not know how many months it was in total that we like got to get this, but I would say at least two or three. So we could see here that it was about in May that the pre-registration started from what I'm seeing. Yes, so it seems like it was in about May. So we had about a month or two. It could have been earlier, but it was about May, April. Okay, April. Sorry, April. Yes, this is the original video, it seems. So in April is when it started the pre-registration. Nothing is showing earlier. So yeah, they had two months, pretty much like exactly two months for pre-registration. Now, Black Clover Mobile's pre-registration came out in February, I believe it was February 14th. Now, okay, let's just put this at the end. The JP version got 500,000, which pretty good, right? But Global got 1.5 million, and this is the kicker, I think. There are many factors that could lead to this not getting that much. Now, okay. In general, Black Clover is a much bigger series and much more adored series than Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins, though, came out four years ago. But considering that um, these are only JP releases, we have to compare these two. And I'm going to say that we're going to hit the 500,000, I'd say, like especially after like live streams and stuff. Once uh, the promotion starts kicking up even more, we should hit 500,000, which is similar to this version. But I think the overseas community for... Um, Black Clover Mobile should be around this or even more. That's the thing. Global does have a much bigger marketing for this, I'd say, than JP, or at least in terms of pre-registrations, because there's not many games that are not global that get high amount of pre-registrations, because this is a global launch. This is a global launch. This is not a global launch, which is the reason as to why it is 500,000, similar to this. I think that, that is, this is why it's similar to the JP version and not the global version, because the global version definitely got a lot more like 1.5 million is very high but the global version for black clover mobile has a lot of fans waiting for it to come out and even in many of the jp tiktoks it was mainly global and english uh, people talking so i think that many people would like to sign up for this for it but it's also very hard to because they don't make it hard if you're they do make it hard sorry if you're not in J uh, like japan so 
I think that the problem here as to why it's so low is that it is not a global pre-registration because this is JP only as to the same that the KR version has a KR only. So basically leading problem, the JP pre-registration is not global and i think that i've already talked about but it not being global is the reason why we're not seeing numbers like this numbers like this or numbers like this right obviously i don't think a million is um logical but i think three million we could probably see with the right um marketing but this also leads to my next point it sucks a bit because we should have easily passed 500,000 at this point but given that uh grand cross had about two months to hit this sorry that had about two months to hit this like this is a decent time frame because in a month and well a month and a half they've done this already so i think that we could maybe hit it but there's also the possibility that if it drops mid-may that it won't now th this is the last point i'm going to make in this video it's good that global didn't release now and why is that this game honkai star rail honkai star rail is releasing end of april so if global came out it would have been a direct competitor or just in general it would have had to compete maybe not a competitor but it would have had to put itself out there to just try to not have money taken from star rail so i think that the global version not coming out at this at the same time as the uh, global star rail is good because global black clover mobile could have been a problem if it came out at the same time but jp not as much because this i think they're trying to adhere to a more jp following but the th problem is a lot of global people are trying to play a lot of people overseas that speak english are trying to play so even if um many people want to play they're gonna have to wait i think that this may be one of the reasons that they decided to push it back but in general it does suck just that um we have to wait mainly because i'd say of star rail but like also it does it's really bad for the pre-registrations because we're at 300,000 and like depending on when it's released it may or may not hit the 500,000 maybe they're gonna ramp it up or something they might just end up giving it to us and lie but you know we don't know so yeah main thing this is a JP only and like when you compare global versions it's getting a lot right but if this was JP only I doubt it would reach 3 million and of course Grand Cross is a good comparison to make as this hit 500,000 in two months and in about a month and a half it hit 300,000 so give it a bit more time and it probably could hit forge in 500 maybe but of course if this was global we'd see numbers much closer to this now it does suck that Honkai Star Rail had to come up but I think this is the main reason as to why we're not getting it right now for the global version but we're gonna have to be patient and they're gonna give us a hopefully much more polished game but i'm excited and i do hope that this game does come out in april and i hope this video did make sense i think i might have rambled on for a bit but overall i think my message was clear as to why um jp is kind of low but yes thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace